morning of day four and Al is having a beer before midday. And you can look at this in two ways. You can either look at this, he's a raging alcoholic, or you can look at it that he didn't finish that last night and so he is the complete opposite yeah. of an alcoholic. But I don't think you can see from here, but we have some friends, some neighbors. I might go down and show you in a minute, but there's some, we think seals? We think seals. We think seals. Found ourselves a seal, or otter. I think otter. We found the Loch Ness Monster swimming towards us. Okay, maybe we're not in Loch Ness. Just the estuary. <laughs> the inlet at but still, it's clearly the Loch Ness Monster. Usually on a walk on the beach, how much trash would you be pulling out right now? Oh, much, much more. This is that's really well, it's quite impressive, huh? Hardly anything. It's mostly just I think stuff from fishing boats like lion. And yeah. Little bits. Hardly no. Anything. Very pleased. My van has it all, including an arcade game, which Al is currently enjoying. My sister got me for Christmas. Twenty quid. That's all. Twenty pretty quid. Sweet. It's pretty sweet. Full color. Full color screen. Play some duck, duck hunt. hunt. Here we go. Ruh, ruh, ruh. Oh, you got it. Where'd nice. Go? Where'd he go? Huh. Get back here. <laughs> nice. Two fur. Boom. Good dog. Oh, that Good dog, dog just crapped. Ducks by the neck. Hey guys. It's almost two. It's a late start, but we got no complaints. It, uh, it was too pretty to not take it all in and enjoy. Uh, our breakfast was crumpets and tea, which is fantastic. And the view is unparalleled. So mm -hmm. we took a walk down to see our neighbors, the seals. Yes. Hung out with them for a little bit. Talked to a gentleman who came here to uh, go fishing for, for sea snails. He had a whole great big bag. Can it be called snails. fishing if it's not for fish? It's snailing. Collecting? Snailing. snailing. Maybe keeling. Is that what the keeling thing was? Could be. Um, lots of seafood in this area. We may have to try some before we leave. Um, we're heading now to the town of Portree. Uh, maybe the largest town on Sky. It has two supermarkets. Markets. Whoa. So... Uh, a big co-op and a small co-op. Yeah, we got to get rid of all our rubbish, a lot we picked up on the beach, and um, go to the Isle of Skye Distillers Distillery to have our first taste of Isle of Skye scotch, and then a hike after. Yeah. Sounds good. All right, and we're away. No? No. Maybe this person can help us. <laughs> Hello. I'm going to do some whiskey tasting. <laughs> I don't do any whiskey tasting. Right. Okay. Um, oh, this isn't a distillery. Yes, no, we are a distillery. Uh, we do gin. Uh, we make gin and vodka from Sky. Gotcha. Mm, you want to taste some gin? Not scotch. Look at it. Look at that. Look at this. Ow! <laughs> you can. I don't care. What are you doing now? Donating to the Staffen Community Trust. Eco Museum. I don't know what it is, but they're getting my money. It's beautiful. Beautiful. On seeing the peat laden tractor approaching the house, my granny said, is Ayomad Rud Achi 
undoing a verse father bed the long lived person will witness many changes profound because tractors and Pete that's a whole that's a whole new ball game man this is a, Pete, no who's Pete who's a, Pete the farmer Pete. your mom's Pete <laughs> so's your face fuck out <laughs> mister get to the edge of every damn height oh daddy oh, get back. oh daddy I'm this far, look how far away I am from the edge. Look, this is close to the edge. Oh wait, there's a bit down there you can fall into. Yeah, I'll fall into the ferns. Oh, okay, I got you. Oh, this is kind of, this is a hell of a gorge. It's cool, it's a, a very long, thin island over there. Is, is that Japan? Yeah, yeah, that, that's Japan. <laughs> yeah. We're so high up, you can see around the world, yeah. Oh yeah. Up there, you can see the Himalayas on the other side. Sweet. Yeah, it's India. Yeah? Yeah. Where's the Andes? Andes. Andes is the other. The other way around? They over there? Oh, there they are. There they are. Oh, nice. There they are. Sweet. Hola. We're here overlooking an old uh, uh, harbor for exporting diatomite, which we just learned diatomite is uh, uh, hardened diatom shells from millions of years ago that's used in dynamite. That's where dynamite gets its name. Gets its name. Not his name. Its name. So down there is a bunch of cool stone buildings that were used um, about 120 years ago in the diatomite industry. And some kayakers. Tell me about the Germans. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Diatomite machinery came from Germany. So a lot of Germans were involved in the industry here. And local legend has it that this was a secret uh, getaway spot for U-boats to uh, take shelter and refresh their supply of fresh water, assisted by the local dirty Scots. Scotch Germans. <laughs> yeah, they probably were. They probably uh, had a little bit of breeding going on. Yeah. yeah. Dun dun dun. Surprise! Alright, I'm gonna have to put you down because it's getting steep. I think I need two hands. Check it out. Whew. There's Al. Say goodbye to the viewers. <laughs> we just have to come up there. Yeah. Right here. It's tough, right? Yeah, I'm out of breath. It's good. We were just literally literally say no this isn't hard this is rated as hard. hard hike and then I have to put you away to use both hands to climb so what a bozo I don't think this camera's gonna be able to take in how sweet it looks there we are halfway through I reckon yeah seems like maybe a little more the far side of our hike. 
stopped here at the famous Kui Rang Teet. It's the legendary rock structure that is the iconic symbol of the Isle of Skye. Mm -hmm. And someone here has made a, a, a lovely model of the teat just to show how important it is to the people of Skye. So. It's a sacred Boop. place. Sacred to the local pagans. Well, here you see we've made it to, come a little closer. We've made it to uh, William Wallace's uh, holiday resort cottage here. Uh, he used to holiday on the Isle of Skye. This is his garden uh, fence. This is the, the boundary fence of William Wallace's uh, domain. Is that his cow? This is his cow and his sheep. Um, William was famous for being an avid farmer. Uh, and here's where he practiced his stone throwing as we saw in the very factual movie, Braveheart. He's, he's very good and skilled yes, ooh, ooh. at stone throwing. <laughs> this is crazy. I'll show you what it looks like from up there in a minute. I'm pooped. Me too. Yeah. Oh. Worth it. I'm almost at the top. Totally worth it. Totally worth it. Oh. Absolutely beautiful. Do it, do it, do it. You know there is no way. How do I get across? No, come on. I only got one pair of shoes. God damn it, I got another pair you can wear. There's a ram. There's a ram and he's waiting for me. Oh no, he's not, he's scared. Sissy, sissy ram. More and more difficult. <laughs> so we're going down there. Right now. Mud. All right. Mud. I'm gonna try and do this with the GoPro. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Smith, Woo. enjoy that. That was one of the best. No, that was the best hike I've ever had the had the good fortune to be on. I think I agree. That it's was amazing. pretty spectacular. And no. like difficult in places that you you don't. That was, that wasn't a trail on the way back, and I kind of like it. Like it was just yeah. down the slope. I mean, you can't see it from here. But. Yeah. Woo. The views. Yeah. There's views uh, every step. Every step was a... Yeah. Got a little bit dirty. I had a little tumble. I don't know if you can see. Oh, I had a tumble. Had a t <laughs> yeah. Yeah, excellent. Well worth the trip. I feel like I have a well-deserved Cornish pasty mm -hmm. tonight. I would have felt guilty, but now I feel like we achieved something. That was, that was great. Yeah.
Right Al, so the plan today was to distillery, hike, distillery hike. And what did we actually get done? We went to a distillery. Mm -hmm. It was a gin distillery. So that counts. We went there. We didn't taste, but that's we fine. We went there. It's not like we slacked off and didn't go there. Okay, but what about the other distillery and hike? Uh, we did one hike. Yep. A hell of a hike. Heck of a hike. Okay. Heck of a hike. And the other time we spent looking for a campsite. <laughs> and we ended up just by the side of the road. Because somebody had to get Near a the water. sea view. Yeah. Just couldn't live without it. Whatever. Anyway, end of day four. Uh, it was a great day, though. It was a great day. Great day. Yeah. Uh, we're going to the beach tomorrow, and a castle. Distilleries and some yeah, and a castle. And at least one distillery. And we'll see yeah. you tomorrow and tell you about how we only get half of that done. We'll do it.